from Media Mark, and I'm back with a uh, topic here on uh, financial financial news. That is regarding the Federal Reserve, Ben Bernanke. Last month I did a video on QE3, which is quantitative easing third edition, that the Federal Reserve is embarking on. However, now I want to do a follow up to this and see a month later what things have happened. Well, QE3 was released. And look at the Dow Jones is pretty much in the same exact area that it was one month ago. Was it effective? That's negligible to say. We're one month into the program. Stocks are pretty much flatlined across the board. What is up? Well, things like oil is up. Uh, Inflation, is, inflationary pressures are up. Um, so exactly, and, and yes, the unemployment rate fell to 7.8%, but really, is that the real unemployment rate? We have literally 23 million Americans that are looking for jobs or unemployed, 9 million that are completely unemployed. It's a disgrace. So the Federal Reserve's program, is it working? It doesn't look like it, at least in my opinion. Now, just a couple weeks ago, a very well, world-renowned economist, Mark Faber, pictured here, has uh, made a prediction that the Federal Reserve of the United States is going to destroy the world with their mass money printing that they've engaged in for too long. They've ignored the signs, the warning signs, are inflation, inflationary pressures are here, and this is a disgrace that the Federal Reserve is putting upon not only the American people, but the world population as well. So, I'm leaving this open-ended for discussion, but I'm very skeptical of quantitative easing programs. The first one was a miserable failure, so was the second one. And the third one, we're a month into it already, and the only thing, just like the first two, that seems to be up are things like food prices, energy prices, corn, wheat, grain, rice, anything that has to do uh, with metals, precious metals, copper, aluminum, uh, zinc, any of those precious metals like platinum, gold, silver, these things are going up across the board. Gas prices in the United States are averaging very high. In several states, they're well above $4, with California striking its highest nas er, state average ever at $4.61 a gallon just last week. It's quite amazing to me that the Federal Reserve is willing to risk everything for this. And take a look at the Fed's balance sheet here. This is staggering. We've never ever been in this kind of situation where the Federal Reserve actually holds a balance sheet such as this. This is, this is alarming. And the national debt clock, this is a disgrace. We're, we're going well above 16 trillion now. And the Federal Reserve uh, thinks they can print more money. Now, interestingly enough, the budget for 2012-2013 here has actually gone down 500 billion. Not because the government cut spending, but because the Federal Reserve is printing money to make up for the fact that Congress, the Senate, and the President cannot come to an agreement on fiscal discipline. This, to me, is a complete disgrace. It should be punished. These people should be thrown out of office and not to mention, what are we leaving future generations? A mess. A complete, total, and disgraceful mess. As a concerned citizen of the United States, I find it very disturbing that many people decide to think that this is the new normal. This does not have to be the new normal. Right now, there are literally, the poverty line is creeping up to between 15 and 20 percent in America and the printing continues. We have been money printing for too long and it's time this stops. I want to know what your opinion is on this. What are your theories on it? 
uh, Mark Faber, a very well-known economist who believes in pure capitalism, which I truly believe in. Um, and you should also look up some of his other articles. He's been warning us um, of this for a long time. In fact, he has several articles on this. And uh, his take on it is this. Things that go up, inflationary, things that go up in a bubble always must come down. He's the author of the Boom, Doom, and Gloom book that was written, and he actually seems to have a take on it that a lot of other economists who believe more in Keynesian economics don't agree upon. So, getting back to that whole Austrian economics versus Keynesian economics, Austrian economics believes in a balanced budget. They believe in spending only what you have. Keynesian economics believes in spending things you don't have, printing money, going into debt because Keynesian economists believe that debt doesn't matter, that you should inflate your way out of debt. I have a real problem with that and I'm going to hold back on that. So, I want to know what your opinions are. I'm doing a follow-up to last month's video. What are your opinions on this whole uh, Bernanke thing? Do you think that he should pull back what he has done? It's time to pull the plug on this, and it's time to vote representatives into our government that will actually be more responsible, and eventually finally audit the Fed, which the Federal Reserve has never been audited before. It's time we know where our money's going and where our newly printed money is going that's causing us all this inflation back here behind me and everywhere for that matter. So, what's your opinion on this, uh, Mark Faber's, um, or what's your opinion on Mark Faber's article of uh, the Federal Reserve, it will destroy the world, the entire world economy, not just our economy in the United States, but the entire world itself. So, question, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to us. I do a weather video every day, but I'm also a man of numbers here at Mediomark.com. So, um, I want to know what your opinions are, uh, what you think of this. So, um, like the video, post a comment, a question, anything that you may have on anything that I talked about today.